considering texture in your design. Uh, texture is actually one of my favorite ones. Um, it's often subtle and, uh, you know, not really thought about when you first embark on your designing uh, journey, but it really does help tell the story. Um, so here is an example of uh, how Diana created some texture. Uh, this is her project, the Purple Dragon, um, you know, symbolic of, of power and righteousness and uh, just wanting to do good in general. And how was she supposed to create scales with a bunch of uh, shiny fabrics? Um, so she cut a bunch of triangles and painstakingly sewed them all across and was able to create uh, this this texture, textured feel, right? Like this, this scaly feel of a dragon. Um, another example I wanna show is the warrior. Um, and his goal uh, was to show that, you know, he was a, a, a battle-worn warrior, uh, but never really got hurt uh, in, in major battles. And so, um, how did he achieve uh, telling this story? Um, so it was really, it was really awesome to hear him tell me about it. Um, uh, but uh, it's very intentional if you take a look. In his shoes and his clothing, uh, you can kind of tell that it is uh, very shiny. Uh, you know, shiny material, unscratched. Uh, ooh, I think my face is in the way. Let me move it. Oh, wrong. Uh, excuse me, guys. There you go. Yeah, very shiny, right? No scratches. Um, but he also wanted to show that as a warrior, um, you know, he is battle worn and he has seen, uh, you know, some fights defending good. <laughs> and he wanted to show that uh, his equipment and his, um, his, what's that called? Equipment and, um, weapons were were well used um, and he created this effect with a uh, crinkled foil as you can see here and crinkled uh, copper tape and you can see that he applied it only to uh, his protective gear which is his shield and his face mask and his arm guard um, and his you know uh, weapon of choice uh, the sword um, and so uh, another great example of uh, showing how texture can help tell the story.